This is what two inches of water in your basement looks like after this sump pump and this battery backup system fail. When this happens, we begin by taking thermal photos and moisture readings to give us a visual representation of the affected areas and their materials. It's important to get started immediately before mold begins to colonize. To begin, we set up our extraction hoses. As you can see here, I'm setting up spikes to prevent the steam line from burning the grass. The clients were nice enough to move their belongings outside before we arrived. And now that we have our hose ran, we begin extracting all the water from the carpet and the pad. This makes it lighter and easier to cut and bag. Now we don't always have to remove the carpet, but since this is groundwater, it's considered a category three, so everything goes. After we're done extracting, we begin removal of the affected materials and throw them in our dumpster. After removing all the affected materials, all that's left is the studs and concrete, which will clean, disinfect, and dry. Drying equipment will be set up in various parts of this basement in order to ensure maximum drying efficiency. Once dry, we're ready for the rebuild, and it's time to get lunch. This is Chris, that's Kenneth, and that's Jeffrey, enjoying some tacos and fajitas after another successful day of work. If you have a water damage or a mold remediation emergency, give our office a call, 703-520-5060. We hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.